Hi, this is Jennifer Hansen from Stitch Diva Studios. I'm just learning how to use my video equipment to share the skills and techniques required for use in our patterns. Available for direct download online from stitchdiva.com or at fine yarn retailers worldwide. Please, if you like these videos, if you don't like them, if you'd like to see something else in future, let us know. Drop us an email at support at stitchdiva.com. But right now, sit back and enjoy the show. This is one in a multi-part series I have available on our website at stitchdiva.com and at YouTube on Broomstick Lace. We're going to cover the basics of Broomstick Lace, how to work in the round, and how to do shaping, increasing and decreasing. What you're going to need to get started is a large knitting needle, I use the number 19 in the videos, and a crochet hook appropriately sized to your yarn. Let's get started. Um. What I'm going to do now is I'm working into groups of four loops for this pattern. And whatever pattern you're going to follow, we have our hourglass jacket pattern available at stitchdiva.com and at fine retail, yarn retail locations near you. That particular pattern works into groups of four loops, so that's what I'm actually going to demonstrate here. What I've done is I've inserted my crochet hook through a group of four loops. I'm going to yarn over. This is the first stitch of the crochet row. Pull up a loop, and then I'm going to essentially essentially do a slip stitch chain one and now I'm going to chain three and this is going to count as my first stitch of the um, of, of this group of stitches and now I'm going to do three additional stitches three additional double crochets I'm doing three double crochets in this group of four loops so that with my first chain three and then my three double crochets, it's essentially four stitches in this first group of four loops. And you can see how the broomstick lace pattern is beginning to, beginning to uh, materialize here. Now what I'm going to do, yarn over, I'm going to insert my hook through the next group of four loops. And I'm going to do four double crochets into that next group of four loops. There you have it, my second cluster complete. You can see how the fabric is beginning to shape up. Again, yarn over to do double crochet. You gotta yarn over first before inserting your hook into the next group of four loops. And I am going to do four more stitches into my group of four loops. You'll notice I'm doing four stitches into each group of four loops. And that way I'm working even Okay, I'm not increasing or decreasing, and I'm creating an even fabric. Stay tuned, because I'm going to show you how to do increasing and decreasing with broomstick lace. Our fitted jacket uses increasing and decreasing so that it can nicely hug the hips and the waist. And increasing and decreasing is absolutely possible with hairpin lace. There's no reason why it shouldn't be possible. Working my last group of four stitches into my last group of four loops. And lo and behold, I'm, yay, I'm done with my first row. It's beautiful. Okay, you notice I haven't turned my work yet. Now I'm ready to start my next row of um, broomstick lace. So it's the loop row. Again, loop row, crochet row, loop row, crochet row. If you're working even in a broomstick lace pattern, that's the rhythm of uh, work that you're going to be following. So in order to create my loop row, again, loop that's on my hook, I pull it large, transfer it to a knitting needle. Don't work that first stitch, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work every other stitch in the row. Again, that first stitch, just a reminder, that first stitch is the uh, corresponds to the, fir the first loop corresponds to the first stitch of the row. That's why you don't have to work it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you're going to gonna, you're gonna go ahead and work every stitch of the row just like you worked into every single crochet stitch on that first row. And the only reason why I'm taking the time to go ahead and show you this again is so that um, you can see how I work the last stitch of the row. Because the last stitch of the row is going to be worked in the 
chain three, which was the first stitch of the crochet row. You can see here too, I don't know if I mentioned it, I'm using a number 19 knitting needle based on the pattern that you would be following or based on your own design. You can use any size knitting needle that you'd want. I used a number 19 knitting needle for my hourglass jacket design. Our knitting needles, um, we do sell knitting needles at stitchdiva.com and of course I really really like the Jenkins knitting needles because they are very long. There's a lot of room to fit lots of loops, the entire width of the jacket onto one knitting needle. Um, and they're lightweight and they're just warm and they're a pleasure to work with. All right, this is my second to last stitch. Now I've got a chain three at the very end. I'm going to insert my hook in that top of that chain three. Okay and I'm going to pull up a loop in there and that's pulling up a loop in the very last stitch of the row and so I should have 16 loops on my hook one group of four, two group of four, three group of four, four group of four I do so I haven't lost anything I'm working even and then just go through the process again slide all, the, all of the loops off of my knitting needle insert my hook through that first group of four loops yarn over, pull up a loop, essentially chain one, essentially I've slip stitched through that first group of four loops, then chain three because I'm doing double crochets, this first chain three counts as the first stitch, and now I'm going to do three more double crochets in this first group of four loops. And there you have it. You've already seen me do this before. You already know the drill at this point. Insert my hook through that second group of four loops. Do four more double crochets in there. Now, again, I did double crochets in my hourglass jacket design. I could have done half double crochets, I could have done treble crochets, I could have done single crochets. Um, you can get pretty creative on the stitches that you use for your second, for your crochet stitch row on the broomstick lace pattern um, if you're doing your own designs. Alright, and then this is my last group of four loops. Yikes. And there you have it. Watch for more uh, broomstick lace videos. I'm going to be posting a video on how to do increasing and decreasing with your broomstick lace work. I'm also going to be posting a video on how to do broomstick lace work in the round. Thanks for watching.